Hello, my puzzled friends. No way, you're not that puzzled, but you are here to learn how to make your own puzzle. This is pretty cool. And, you know, before we get started, let me show you an example of one I made a while ago. Yeah, all these pieces. Yikes. And look at the shape. It's different kinds of shapes. Maybe you've seen puzzles before with those interesting jigsaw shapes, but... Essentially, a puzzle is a picture that has been broken into pieces that you have to match back up. Well, I'm going to use my magic, and I might even use a little time travel to show you how this one would be solved. Ready? Let's... All right. Hey, did you time me? No. Oh, well, maybe next time, but check it out. So this is one I made a couple of years ago. It's a beautiful temple in Mount Fuji there. It's really nice. And this would make a great gift for somebody. Uh, your cuts can be all sorts of different shapes. You could do just squares. You could do all sorts of curves, and you can try to make those classic sort of jigsaw shapes. But before we talk any more, why don't I show you how to get started? You're going to need a printed out picture of something wonderful, or maybe even somebody that you love. And you'll need a cardboard. Some other things that will come in handy might be a pair of scissors, a box cutter, or an X-Acto knife. And these things can get pretty sharp, so you might even want an adult's help, because these can be very sharp. And we're gonna be making some very interesting cuts. Well, we'll put our cutting instruments to the side for the moment, and there's one more thing that you're going to need, which is a glue stick. And you might even use some better glue than just a glue stick. It depends on the kind of glue you've got and how long you want it to last. Okay, first things first, make sure that your picture fits on your cardboard. And it does seem to. And the next thing would be to trim that picture out of the paper. You could even try printing out a picture that spans several pieces of paper. And then, once it's all glued down, it should look pretty good to make a really big puzzle. All right. The next step is to grab that glue stick and to get some glue on there. Make sure to get plenty of glue on this. We want it to stick to the cardboard very evenly. If part of it doesn't get glued down, it might start to peel off the cardboard in some random place, which might make solving a little bit hard. And also, well, you know, just want it to look really good. So get a good coat of glue on there and then slap that thing down. Smooth it out. And now you're going to want to let that dry. Really give it a chance to dry and then check it. If you have anywhere that's lifting off, give it a little more glue and then wait for it to dry again. So we'll be right back in a moment. All right. So we've given it some time to dry and now we're ready to think about cutting out shapes. Now in the puzzle I showed you at the beginning, I've got some very wacky looking shapes, but they were pretty easy to cut out. Making one of those traditional jigsaw shapes might be hard. You could start out also with squares or something even, but solving it might be more difficult or easier depending on your pieces, as well as how many there are. So if you're going to do something like a grid or something with really straight edges, I recommend grabbing a ruler and making those shapes with a pencil and then cutting them out. You're also welcome to just randomly cut them out, although you have a little bit more control if you have a ruler or if you have a real good plan in mind. Well, the first thing I definitely have to do is cut off these edges. And the easiest way to do that is with a box cutter. It's meant for cutting cardboard. Scissors can be a little bit tougher to do that with. But let's give those a try too. 
If you do go with the box cutter, please make sure to put protection on your table using a cutting mat or a nice thick piece of cardboard underneath. Other materials you might be able to use besides cardboard might be foam core. Let's get that piece off the bottom there. Give that a nice trim. There we go. Looking pretty nice. Okay, so let's think about this one. I think I want to do some straight lines and some curvy lines. So I'll set a line right here. And another one right here. And another one right here. And how about one more? Cool. For my other lines, I think I am actually going to curve it a little bit. How about like this and across. We'll do the same thing right here. Down and across and then one more right all the way to the bottom and we'll have it come up right there this should give us something to work with and you know if we don't like this we can also cut up the pieces again even smaller but let's give this one a try All right, look at this mess, right? Uh, well, this is the best part is now we get to test this out and see if we can do it. So are you ready to time me again? Ready? Whew, and time, right? Whew, look at that. That last little bit was a bit of a challenge. It was pretty easy, and I might decide now that I want to cut out some more creative shapes in this. But what I really would like to do is go take this puzzle, bag it up, maybe with a ribbon, and give it to the person featured on it to see if they can do it. And then maybe they'll make me one as well. Have fun with this puzzling activity, my friends, and I'll see you again soon.